This is where I first received a perfect slow scan TV image from the International Space Station. It was April 2015 and right now it's November 2015 and we're in Cary, North Carolina and it was in the dark when I recorded the last video so I wanted to come here and show what it looks like in the daytime so you could get a feel for where I was and my hope is that by watching this video you can see how I did it, how it's possible to get a perfect image from the slow scan TV transmissions of the International Space Station and that you can also try it yourself and I want you to let me know your progress or how it went for you or your plans. Just put a little comment below the video. So thanks for watching. This is John Breyer, KG4AKV. Good luck, 73. Twenty-five, twenty-two. Okay. It's gonna be over here somewhere when it comes back on. Twenty-five, twenty-two is when when it stopped. So in three minutes, where will it be? I'm gonna get tail the tail end of one image and the beginning of another image. Two minutes have passed, so another one in it. <laughs> another minute's gonna be gone by the time I get it. And my goodness, it's the longest wait ever. All right, we sh twenty seconds theoretically. Let's see how accurate this thing is three minute break they have between each transmission. 10 seconds, eight seconds, seven seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Damn, it's freaking it right on. Three, oh my goodness. All right, S9 over, signal strength, S9 over, max full scale. This could be a really good transmission right here because I'm not to the end of this um, pass. I'm only I'm going east almost, directly east with my antenna, and I know that the pass ends to my east southeast. So I've got a bit of, I got a bit to go, but I don't know if it'll transmission takes three minutes I think. So I don't know if it's gonna make it. Woo! My arms are getting tired. I need to work out some more. Crap! S9 over. I'm gonna since the signal is so strong, I can pick up this. Here we go, look at that signal. Look at that signal. Here we are in Crossroads in Cary, North Carolina, downloading some some images from space, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. If I can get, all right, man. S9 over, baby, look at that signal. <laughs> man, this is crazy. Pretty psyched. Woke up in the middle of the night for this. Oh man, this is gonna be a good one. Look at him. Yari Gagarin. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but you're looking sharp in this picture, buddy. Your hair's a little messy, but the image itself is quite sharp, let me say that. <laughs> S9 over still, man. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. This is my this is my money shot right here. I'm glad I woke up for this. God, it's still full freaking skip. Okay, it went down a little bit. It went down one bar, still S9 over. Oh, twisted a little bit. All right, yep, now I got it. It's a little higher. Oh, doesn't even matter. I mean, it's already S9. I'm going to get the whole thing. This is amazing. Doppler, I'm not even adjusting for it. I adjusted for it in the beginning. I didn't really need it, it looks like. Woo! Oh, my goodness. That's it right there. Bam! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> let's see, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? That is a perfect image. That's what happens when you get S9 plus signal for the entire transmission. Oh my goodness. I'm loving it. All right, so I just woke up in the middle of the night. It is about 12.32 in, on the East Coast of the United States. And, oh man, I wasn't gonna get up for this, but I, I had to check the passes right before I completely went to bed. I was in bed and I was like, you know what? I wanna see if there's anything worth really getting up for. I'm not gonna get up for a 10 degree pass, but lo and behold, there was a 30 something degree pass and 30 degrees is pretty good. I've been hearing that even under 10, even five degrees, three and four degrees, and this is the, the 
the angle above the horizon, the pass comes up to that degree, at least it's worth it. It's worth trying to receive the signals. So, so that's what I did. And I think it was worth it. I'm glad I did it. The first image, I only got part of it, but man, that's so cool. I just, I'm having a great time. And the other thing I really liked was the three minute gap between each transmission. You can tell that that is computer controlled or timed in some way because it was, it was on point. It was on point. I watched the time when the image stopped and then I added three minutes and counted down and it came at that very moment. So um, now I know in the future when they say three minutes, they mean three minutes. Some of the other recordings I, I listened to from previous weekends where they did this commemoration, they did one in January or February, I believe, and they also did one in October. You could hear people in the background, like a woman, maybe a cosmonaut, and that suggested to me they were kind of manually operating the system, you know, holding a microphone up to a speaker or something, but I don't know, maybe that was just in the beginning or something. In any event, this is clearly not manually operated not with these timings being accurate to the second. So, otherwise, I mean, also, it's going all weekend, so why would they sit there all weekend? That's a lot of time and effort if you could just use a computer. All right, wrap it up. So, here I am with my car, with my aero antenna, and my computer, and my radio, and a shopping cart. You know, because sometimes you gotta run, and you can't put everything you need to put in, you know, in your car. And I think this is my security guy, my police officer, and he came by earlier and just welcomed me, and um, I'm going to say hey to him. <laughs>